Puerto Rico has its first ever independent candidate for governor, Alexandra Lugaro, a young attorney and businesswoman who rejects the island's traditional political duopoly and adheres to the values of the global indignant and Occupy movements. Lugaro is about to receive her doctorate from Madrid's prestigious University Complutense. She boldly announces her platform. Renegotiate the debt if necessary, legalize marijuana and same-sex marriage, and make religious institutions pay taxes, among other projects. All are controversial issues on the island and are seldom discussed by the U.S. territory's two establishment parties, she says. With only 3.6 million inhabitants, Puerto Rico sees some 50,000 emigrate each year, a large part of them young professionals with a high level of education who are seeking a way out of an economy that has been in the doldrums for more than eight years. Although Puerto Rico's parties are basically defined by their opinion about whether the island should remain a U.S. commonwealth, seek U.S. statehood or declare independence, Lugaro avoids giving her opinion on the matter. What I think best for Puerto Rico isn't important, she says. What is important is that which is objectively best for Puerto Rico. She says the island has to make a thorough study of the issue and present a serious definitive proposal to Washington. What she did say is that the current status of a free associated state is not a solution, but is largely the cause of economic problems on the island, asphyxiated by its unpayable debt of $73 billion while rating agencies demand austerity.